Can you not be angry to those who do evil to you? Romans 12, 17 urges us as an impossible thing to do. Do you want to know more about it? Then stay tuned. Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sam Ju. Let's go to the first section, Exposition. Let's read Romans 12, 15, 17. We pay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Now, doing what is good is not only for those who do good to us, but also for those who do evil to us. Because, notice the word, in the sight of all, meaning that all people include evil people, those who are doing evil to us as well. So it says, repay no one evil for evil, but give thoughts to do what is honorable, what is um, cherishable, what is good in the sight of all. All So it really shows us that we should not pick and choose what we need to do uh, good to others. And we can learn from Jesus. Luke chapter 23, 34, it says, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus was talking to people, uh, us, the sinners who were killing him, yet he was uh, forgiving them. We normally follow the natural law, which is to do others as they did to you. If they did good to you, then you do good to them. If they did harm to you, then you do harm to them as well, right? However, the supernatural law by Jesus is different. We are to do good even to those who did evil to us. We are to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Note the word all. It includes those who are evil. We are to do what is honorable in the sight of evil people as well. Now, it is easy to say, but hard to do it, right? How can we do good to those who do evil to us? The key is in the first part of this chapter. Romans 12, 1 urges us to give ourselves as a living sacrifice to God. Verse 2 says we are to be renewed in our mind to discern the will of God. The only way we can truly do good to all is through transformation by the Holy Spirit. Jesus, who forgives sinners, must change us and live in us so that we can do the same thing. If you are a born-again Christian, meaning that you are truly transformed by His power, then you are to do good to anyone around you. We should not pick and choose who we will be nice to. We need to be gentle and generous, even to those who are not to us. Let's pray to the Lord to give us that power to love anyone as He does, and let's practice Let's practice loving anyone each day. By the way, have you done what is good to those who did wrong to you? If so, what did you do? Share your examples in the comment section below. Remember the key words here, honorable, all. So the main idea is do what is honorable to all. Read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. Close your eyes and reset this verse word by word. Pause the video, please. Okay, let's, uh, let's fill in the blanks and check it. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thoughts to do what is in the sight of all. Sight of, okay, the answers are honorable, all, and today's verse is Romans 12, 17. All right, great job. You memorized five verses on the Walking with God memory verses. Please take a few minutes to review from day one or day 239. Tomorrow, we'll learn about anger and the devil. So click the like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you will not miss this very important lesson. And don't forget to put your unique icon or emoji on 365 Empowerment Checklist on the description section below so you can check your own progress as well. And also watch the Day 33 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible so you can get the bigger picture of the Bible. Make sure to pray at least one hour after you read 17 chapters assigned for today. Today. All right, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.